Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a WordPress website in the cloud on AWS. Uh, so basically we're going to be setting up the WordPress website on an AWS service called uh, AWS uh, Lightcell. So I'm also then going to show you how you can get uh, your first three months free on the uh, Lightcell service uh, in just a few simple steps. So the first thing that we're going to do is to sign into the console. So go to aws.amazon.com and then click on the sign into the console button. Once you click on there, uh, I recommend that you use your IAM user as uh, as as because actually actually AWS recommends that you use your IAM user. But for learning purpose, I'm just going to show you. I'm, I'm just going to sign into my root user account. Uh, you can actually complete this uh, setup using using uh, uh, a free tier AWS account, which 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 you can actually get for for free. Okay, so I'm actually going to have to type in my MFA code now. Um, okay, so I've signed into my AWS account. And then uh, from here, with I'm then going to show you how to register a domain on AWS. So to register a domain on AWS, you need to use uh, an AWS service called Route 53. So on, on the top search bar, search for Route 53, and then click on uh, Route 53. Uh, from there, it will load the Route 53 console. And then on the console, click on Register Domains. And then click on register domain so the first thing that you need to do is to type in the the name of the domain that you want to register in this case you can say I can say that everything the everything channel which is the domain that I probably want to register and then click on check so what it's actually doing now is it's checking for availability for the name that you'd want to register so just uh it will run a check and then it will show you a list of all the options that are available for you so to register the everything channel.com it will actually cost about 12 dollars to register that domain so once you've uh, done your check click on, on add to cart and then uh, click on continue and the next step that you need to do is to actually enter in your personal information like your name your last name and your location and then you click on continue uh, and then when you complete your payment uh, that's when you actually then get your uh, route 53 registered domain name okay so in the in the next step um, then going to then show you uh, how to how to set up the uh, WordPress website on the AWS light cell uh, light cell service Okay, so um, the next thing to do is to access the Lightcell uh, web application. So use the search bar at the top of the uh, AWS console to search for Lightcell. So simply search for Lightcell here and then click on the uh, Lightcell search result under services. Okay, so uh, it's actually opening the Lightcell uh, web application now. Actually, uh, according to AWS, they actually say that Lightcell is like the uh, entry-level service that uh, they actually recommend for new users so on the dashboard click on the uh, create instance button uh, to start the instance creation process so the first thing that you'll see is the instance location you can actually change the location of your instance if you click on the change AWS region and availability zone link but I'm just going to leave this uh, on the on my default uh, uh, setting and then uh, on the pick your instance uh, image section, select the Linux slash Unix option. And then on the selected blue, blue blueprint section, uh, select uh, WordPress. Now you can actually choose between WordPress and uh, WordPress multi-site, but in this, case, in this case, I'm just going to choose WordPress. And then uh, scroll down, and then uh, this is where you can then get your first three months free. So if you if you choose to pay three dollars fifty for uh, per month, 
you actually get a WordPress website that's got 512 megabytes of RAM, RAM uh, a single CPU, and uh, 20 gigs of uh, uh, SSD storage. And also you get one terabyte worth of one terabyte worth of uh, data transfer, which is actually quite a lot. Or you can actually choose to pay five dollars a month, and you also get your first three months free, and you get a, a WordPress website with slightly uh, higher specs, and it goes up to ten dollars a month. So for ten bucks a month, you actually get a WordPress website uh, with uh, two gigs of uh, memory, a single CPU and 60 gigs of uh, SSD storage and 3 terabytes of uh, data transfer which is actually quite uh, uh, quite good compared to what other web hosting uh, services offer so this is how you get your first 3 months free for your uh, WordPress website so if you're just starting out as a new blogger or if you're setting up a corporate site or if you produce uh, if you if you if you if you're, if you're a freelancer and you make uh, professional websites for people out there you can actually offer this to them to say hey uh, I can actually set a web we'll set up a, a website for you uh, and give you your first three months free so this is how you get your uh, first three months free okay so um, on the uh, identify your instance section we're actually going to name the uh, WordPress website so I'm just going to name mine the everything channel uh, so that's the name of the WordPress website that I'm going to uh, 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 apply to this uh, instance. And then the final thing is to then uh, go through our settings one more time to make sure that what we've selected, selected is really what we want. And then once you're happy with what, what's, uh, what's set, uh, click on the uh, create instance button. Okay, so the light cell uh, web application will actually go forward to deploy the uh, WordPress uh, instance. It's actually a pretty fast process uh, and it takes uh, about a minute or so for the instance to be provisioned. So if you notice the instance get, uh, gets an IP address automatically but what you need to keep in mind is that this IP address is not a static address but it's a dynamic address. So but unfortunately you don't want that for your WordPress website uh, because the website needs to have a, a static uh, public IP address which you can then uh, point your register domain to because if it keeps changing then you, you're going to have to keep change, updating your DNS records to to all the time which is not what you would want because probably half the time you'll be away and you won't have time to actually do this so the status of the uh, WordPress instance has changed to running. So what we're going to do now is to add to, to set a static IP address on this instance. So to do that, click on the uh, networking tab and then click on uh, create static IP. So on the create uh, static IP address uh, page, uh, select the uh, WordPress instance that we've created just now. And then on the identify your static IP section, I'm actually going to call it the everything channel. Uh, let me just correct that everything channel uh, static IP. So that's how, that's how I'm going to identify the static IP address for this uh, WordPress instance. So once you've done that, click on the create button. Okay, so our, 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 our WordPress instance now has a public static IP address. So in the next section, I'm then going to show you how to then uh, point your registered domain name to this uh, uh, public IP address and also how to then complete the uh, WordPress post installation setup process. Okay, so the next thing to do is to point your domain name to the WordPress instance. So go back to the root 53 console and then under the traffic management section click on domain. So once you click on domain, uh, uh, a page called registered domains will actually be displayed. So on this page you actually see all the domains that you actually have registered on uh, root 53. So select the domain that you'd want to point to the WordPress instance and then click on manage DNS. So once you click on manage DNS, uh, you'll be redirected to a page called the hosted zones page uh, for your domain. 
So if you don't see uh, your domain on the hosted zones page, uh, click on the create hosted zones button. On the on this page, uh, enter your domain name and then uh, set the type to uh, public hosted zone and then click on create record. So once you've uh, completed this uh, hosted zone, select the hosted zone and then click on uh, create record. So what we're actually going to do is to create an A record that will map your domain name to the public IP address of your uh, WordPress instance. So uh, set the record type to A and then uh, go back to the light cell dashboard, copy the public IP address of your uh, WordPress instance, go back to the root 53 uh, console and then paste that public IP address on the value field. Once you've done that, click on the Create uh, Records button. So uh, what we've actually done is we've created an A record that will map your domain name to the public IP address of your WordPress instance. So when DNS servers run a query against your domain, they will actually see that your domain is pointing to your uh, WordPress instance. Then the next thing to do is to then web log into the WordPress uh, dashboard so you can actually start making changes and edits to your WordPress website. So go back to AWS Light Cell and then under the Connect to your Instance section on the Connect tab, click on the Connect using SSH uh, button. So this will actually open the uh, browser based uh, SSH client. Uh, I think I've actually been logged out of my account, so let me quickly log back into my account. Uh, I think I've actually been uh, idle for quite some time, so probably this is a security feature that uh, AWS implemented to make sure that uh, your account actually stays secure. So let me actually quickly enter in my uh, MFA code. Um, okay. So I should then have access to the uh, bra uh, to the uh, SSH uh, interface for the uh, WordPress uh, instance. Um, if you actually face any troubles gaining access, there's another way for you for you to do this. So close out of this uh, console, um, and then in the Light Cell web application. What we're actually going to do is to click on account and then click on account. So once you click on account, click on the SSH keys tab and then download the SSH key file for the AWS region where, where the uh, light cell uh, WordPress instance is actually located. So once you've actually downloaded this uh, key pay file, open the uh, terminal application and then uh, change your working directory to the folder where you've actually downloaded the uh, key pay file. So I'm actually going to change my working directory to my downloads folder. And then the first thing that I'm going to do is to change the permissions on the file. So it's chmod400. And then I'm then going to enter in the uh, file name for the key pay file. Okay. So I've changed the permissions, the read write permissions on the file. And the next thing that I'm going to do is to connect to the instance. So it's SSH-I. Uh, and I'm then going to specify my uh, key pay file. And then let me actually check the username for the instance. So the username for the instance uh, is actually Bitnami. So it's uh, Bitnami. And then I add, and then I'm then going to copy the the IP address of the uh, instance and then paste it into the uh, terminal. So I should then be able to connect uh, to the uh, WordPress instance. As you can see, so I've connected to the instance. Then I'm, the first command that I'm going to run is sudo su. Which will give me, which will actually give me root uh, user privileges uh, in the WordPress instance. And then to get the password to log into the WordPress dashboard, you simply need to run the command cat. So it's cat bitnami. 
uh, underscore application underscore password okay so if you run that command um, okay so I've actually made a typing error there let me actually just quickly make a correction there okay so that's the password that you can actually use to log into the WordPress uh, dashboard so copy that password and then uh, open a new browser tab uh, and then uh, enter in the domain name or IP address of uh, your uh, WordPress instance forward slash WP admin so that will actually go to the WordPress login page so on the login page uh, uh, type in the username so the username is user and then paste in the password that we've actually copied from the uh, SSH uh, terminal so this then gives you and grants you access to the WordPress backend for the uh, WordPress website and then just to have a look and feel for what the front end looks like actually uh, open another tab and then just type in the uh, domain name of your WordPress instance and this is what it actually looks like so there you have it folks this is how you can basically set up our WordPress uh, as a light cell uh, instance and uh, you actually get three months free uh, for actually get three months free hosting for your first uh, three months so please like and subscribe to this channel and uh, please share this video with as many as many as many as many workmen's colleagues as you can